welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Griselda in today's video I am going to be showing you how to create this look because as we all know Thanksgiving Christmas and New Year's is just around the corner I literally thought Thanksgiving wasn't till next week but reality check it is on Thursday so I thought what a better way to start this week off by showing you guys how to create this look. The holiday season is a time where you get to just go full glam because nobody can tell you anything. It is the time to do your hair or do your own makeup, get dressed up and, you know, go show off and be with your family, be with your friends, look glamorous. It is the season. And if people are judging you, then they're haters because they don't look as good as you. So in this video, I will be showing you how to create this full glam from beginning to end. I really am feeling myself because this eye makeup came out looking really good. So if you want to see how I get this look, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified every single time I upload. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. I'm going to go ahead and prime with my silk canvas. And we're just going to prep the skin. So you kind of just want to pat it in the skin. You guys, Thanksgiving definitely creeped up on me. I may go up to my dad's house. He lives up north. So I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing for Thanksgiving. You guys let me know what you guys are going to be doing for Thanksgiving because maybe it'll give me some ideas. So now we're going to use my Banana Bright eye cream by Ole Hendrickson and we're just going to prime the eyes. I say prime because honestly I feel like this aside from it being an under eye cream and a brightener it also kind of serves as a primer. It helps when the concealer just glides on. You have a layer of product to kind of protect your under eye as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So for my eyebrows I just use the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Golden Tan. I actually haven't used this foundation in quite some time. It's been a minute. But what I really love about it that it's waterproof and it lasts for 12 hours. And it just kind of blends in to your skin it's full coverage and I really just love how it feels on the skin and it is recommended to be used with their seamless vanish foundation brush and what I like to do is I like to kind of pat it into the skin to give me that ultimate coverage to highlight underneath my eyes I'm gonna be using my Joy concealer in the shade biscotti we're just gonna apply that underneath one thing about the holidays they can't really come for you for being extra with your makeup because it's the holidays it's expected i mentioned this to you guys before with this concealer you definitely have to work in sections because it does dry down and it is full coverage so that's why i like to do one eye at a time and then i do the rest of my face i want to know what your guys' favorite food is to eat around the holidays i just love when my mom makes her turkey literally everyone in my family always requests that my mom make the turkey because most turkeys are really dry and my mom's turkey is so juicy i don't know how she does it but hers is never dry now picking up my translucent powder by laura mercier we're just gonna set the under eyes and what i've been doing as of lately i've actually just set my whole entire face with the translucent powder so what i've been doing lately as well is i've been using the laura mercier this is the candle glow sheer perfecting powder so i pick that up and i go in with a kabuki brush and i kind of pack on the powder and then just press it into my skin and then buff it in i just really like how this candle glow powder leaves my skin it doesn't look like i have a lot of makeup on even though i do it just kind of gives you like a really nice glowy finish all over the face and we're gonna actually change it up today with the bronzer we're gonna be using mac this is give me sun we're gonna be using this nyx 05 brush forgot how much i really liked give me sun it's like such a nice warm undertone bronzer bring it around the perimeter 
And then I go back in with my Kabuki brush and just kind of blend everything together. Now picking up a little bit of the Huda Blondie, we are going to carve out our cheeks and give us a little bit more definition right underneath. When I tell you this is a full beat, this is a full beat. And sometimes I like to bring it in the yellow in here as well to kind of brighten underneath just a little more. Picking up my Cheek Paradise by Benefit. This has literally everything you need to travel with. It has a Hula Light, Hula, California, Dandelion, and Rockstar. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Hula and we are going to contour our nose. I typically like to use a cooler tone to contour my nose. And I'm just using, this is a Morphe. This is like a flat, fluffy brush. So it's allowing me to kind of just go in there and apply, blend. So I'm going with my Kabuki brush because I feel like I put too much product on this side. Kind of blend everything together and then just buff. And then we're just gonna buff everything else out. Now I'm just gonna spray myself with Fix Plus. And this is just gonna remove that powdery finish. I still haven't decided whether I wanna do a highlight because the eyes are gonna be the focus. So I might leave the highlight if I do a highlight towards the end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my concealer. I'm just gonna pat that on. And I just like to press in the concealer so I get the ultimate coverage. And I'm using a Morphe M521 brush. Now I'm gonna be using my 35 color coffee eyeshadow palette by Morphe. You guys know I love using really warm undertone eyeshadows because I feel like that's what looks great on me. But today I'm actually switching it up and I'm gonna be doing more of a cooler undertone. We are gonna start off by using this, this color right here. You guys can't really see it. It looks lighter on camera than what it actually is. We're going to pick up a MAC 224 brush and pick that color up. And we're going to start off by applying that in the crease. See, you can see a little bit of the cooler undertone. All right, so next we're going to pick up this color right here. This is a little on the warmer side, but it still has a cool undertone. And we're going to add that right on top of that first color. And I'm just using that same blending brush. I like holding the brush towards the end because I want to just make sure that the eyeshadow looks really seamless. So I'm not putting so much pressure as I'm going in to blend. To deepen up the crease, I'm going to pick up this cooler tone brown right here. And we're just going to continue building the crease. And I'm still using that same brush. When you're doing a look like this, one brush is sufficient for the crease. I do keep a clean brush, don't get me wrong, just to kind of blend everything together. But if I'm not going to be going into that lighter color, I don't really need to use a different brush. Last step in the crease, we're gonna pick up this darkest color right here and picking up the same brush. I'm not switching brushes and we are going to add that into the crease. This is just gonna add that deepness in the crease. So once you apply the lid color, it's gonna look really pretty. I'm just gonna continue building the darkest color in my crease to add depth. So my camera stopped recording when I did my right eye. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to using the Jouer Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. This is from their holiday collection. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. I have nothing on my hands. I want you guys to see the color payoff of these eyeshadows. these are so pigmented look at that it's like rich and buttery I'm gonna go ahead and grab my finger and use Twilight and we are going to just press that on to the lid and I find it easier using your finger with this formula just because you're able to kind of blend everything together I'm gonna go ahead and switch fingers because I need to get in the inner corner and I can't do that with the other finger and what I like to do when I go in with my finger because I do have nails I like to press and then kind of tug 
just so you can get like right in there. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna use this number 77 Inglot Gel Liner, and I'm picking up a Dallium 706 brush. Honestly, I feel like I'm just taking it way back with all these products because I haven't used this number 77 eyeliner in a minute, and I forgot how amazing it is. It is one of the blackest, if not the blackest eyeliner. You can use it as a base for smoky eye. It is so easy to glide on. I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Snapscara to coat my top lashes. For lashes, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some Mikano Lashes by Lily Lashes. All right, so moving on to eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup. This is the Long Wear Gel Eyeliner. So this eyeliner, I talked to you guys about this in my last video. It is the blackest gel liner in pencil form that I've ever used before. So we're gonna run this through the waterline and also we're gonna just drag it down below just a little bit into the lash line. And then I'm gonna use the other side to kind of blend everything together. It is literally so black. Now using a flexible brush, this is a precision crease brush by Makeup Addiction. I'm gonna pick up this dark color right here. And the reason why I'm using a pencil brush that is not as dense opposed to using one that's a little bit more fluffy because I'm trying to blend out the gel liner into the bottom lash line and this is just going to give it a really nice like smoky effect underneath now using this jacqueline hill 40 brush i'm going to pick up this color right here this is a great brush to blend out the bottom of the eyeshadow just because it's going to serve as a blending brush at the same time as a pencil brush i definitely need a little bit of blush which i completely forgot to put on you know, sometimes it happens, you know? We are gonna be using California from the Cheek Palette from Benefit. With a cooler tone eyeshadow, I always like to keep the cheeks a little bit rosy because that combo looks so good together. I am using a Sigma Large Angle Contour Brush. You know what, yes, I'm going to highlight. I want a subtle glow. I'm gonna be using this Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the shade Glow. So if you guys didn't know, Laura Mercier came out with two shades shades that are highlighter or luminizers I should say. I'm going to use the Artist Couture 3 brush. This is going to be very subtle because I don't want to take away from the eyes. This gives you that illusion that you're kind of glowing within. So for the lips, I wanted to keep it super natural because obviously the eyes are going to be the main focus. So I'm gonna be using this Headbang by Melt to line the lips. And this lip liner is kind of on the cooler side as well, so it's not as warm. And then for lipstick, I'm actually gonna be trying out this Origins. This is in the color Sweeter Than Honey, and it is a pretty, pretty nude. I actually didn't even know that Origins had lipsticks. These are very buttery. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more pigmented. You guys know I'm a sucker for nude lipsticks. So for gloss, I'm gonna be using the Patrick Star She Better Work in collab with MAC. And this is also like a pink undertone, so I thought that would be perfect to go with this look. All right, everyone, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Let me know if you will be recreating this look for the holidays, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's or whatever holiday you celebrate. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video.